At this point, you had already created your Facebook pixel and assuming that you're using WordPress, this is how you add the Facebook pixel. Now, I have to say that this step is actually quite intuitive. Uh, all you need to do is, we're gonna continue from where we last left off. We click on WordPress and click Confirm. And all you have to do is just follow the steps. But I'll demonstrate to you um, using one of these uh, available WordPress accounts or a WordPress website so that you can um, have a look at how this is supposed to work, okay? So first of all, select features. Um, I recommend that you just click on advanced matching. You can uh, leave this alone. We'll click on continue. And then the next step, you're asked to download a plugin. All right, so we'll just click on download. All right. And then the next thing we're going to do is, now at this point here, it's like I said, it's rather intuitive. We're just going to follow the steps that is being shown here. It's, it's a screenshot step. So what you need to do right now is to log into uh, your WordPress website. And for this purpose, I had done exactly just that okay so i've logged into my wordpress website i go down to plugins so let's see where else it's going right and then it says add new okay and that's exactly what we're going to do we're going to install the plugin all right so we go to plugins we click on add new again you have to be logged into your wordpress website okay if you're using wordpress this is exactly what you're going to do we'll click on upload plugin choose a file and we'll select the zip file that we had just downloaded Okay, and then we'll click on install now. This will take several seconds. And we are somewhat done. Okay, all we need to do is click on activate plugin. And yeah, that's it. Okay, the Facebook pixel has been installed. And if you want to be sure about it, there's this uh, sort of like a, it's not really a warning, it's more like a hits up. Let's just click there for a while. Or if you want to go to settings, you can go to Facebook pixel and you notice that your pixel ID number would already be here right away. So this also coincides with the ID number for this pixel, okay? So it seems that we have did the steps a little bit in advance. We're, we're pretty much done already. And all we need to do is verify whether the pixel is working correctly. We'll put in the name of the website, which is shopodium.co. Uh, let's click send test traffic. And what we're doing is that we're basically testing whether this works or not, all right? Now, this is a website that was just built rather quickly for the purpose of uh, testing. So, at least we know this works. And if you do it right, there'll be a green button here that says active. We'll click on continue. And yeah, we're actually already done. That's it. So, at this point, setting up events, I'm going to skip this. It's not important right now. Uh, I'll talk about this in another video. Uh, but I just want to say that this is all there is to it when it comes to setting up your uh Facebook pixel on WordPress. As you can see, it's rather easy. We'll click close and we're done.